Hey, welcome to the last episode of Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we finally caught Rayquaza, and uh, having a look online, there isn't really much else we can do. We can't catch the Regis because of my mistake using di Dig earlier in the series. Uh, there's one roaming Pokemon, Latias or Latios, depending on if we answered red or blue to our mum when we first uh, came back to the game after being Elite Four. However, being a roaming Pokemon, uh, there are methods to try and catch it as quickly as possible, but there's no sort of set place or way to get it to show up. So... So, what I'm going to do is we're going to head over to the last thing I want to do in the game. Which is why I flew over here last time. Let me actually use a super repel as well so we can get there in peace. Alright, I'm excited for this. This will be our last challenge, and frankly, I'm not even sure if we're going to be capable of it or not. I'll have to wait and see. I think I may have made a mistake in that I think I need Waterfall. Yes, I do. I think this late in the game, I'm willing to just teach Waterfall. That's the last thing we're doing in the game, I don't mind. Overriding something else. Can we override Rock Smash? I don't think so, being a HM. That's not what I wanted to do. If we can override Rock Smash, that'd be great, but if not, I'll override Rollout since we don't really use it anyway. Yeah. A shame, but. Yeah, so we, to make sure that we can actually have our full team with us for this last challenge. So here in Media Falls, cave back here. Now, I need to use another repel. I don't know where exactly this is. Oh, got some trainers to fight here. We've always battled Pokemon together as a twosome. We have confidence in ourselves. Alright. John and Jay would like to battle. Medicham and Hariyama, level 39 each. All bad levels, honestly. I'm not worried, but uh, they could pose some threat, I suppose. Alright, I'm very glad I went for the Hariyama in this case. Well, it's dead. Earthquake, unfortunately, will not get past Protect, so... Nothing there. Did you have any more Pokemon? Nope, alright. Let's hope it... Okay, it did it again. One moment. I hope it doesn't I'm just saving a bit of time. There we go, Medicham is down. Joey get grid level 51. Oh my, we've lost dear wife. And sure, the chance arises. We battle with us again. Alright, we've registered over in the Pokenev. Oh, someone else didn't annoy us. This is where we dragon users do our training. The champion even visits. Now do you see how special it is here? I suppose so. Dragon Tamer Nicholas, sending out Altaria. Joey isn't a bad pick for this. We've got Rock Slide. Yeah. Oh, barely held on. Uh, I'm just going to use Flamethrower. Not very effective, I know, but when it's only got one health or so, it doesn't make too much difference. 
another Altaria. This time I'll swap out for a Berry. Now that we can get a clean swap going. Go ice beam. One shot, easy. Oh uh, yeah, Barry. Uh, I didn't expect you to be so strong. I'm about your pal. The rest of you in my Pokenev. All right, another trainer down. Oh man, I truly don't know where I'm going. Let's go left. Alright, that leads me to here. Which I can surf across, I guess, suppose. Alright, I'm hoping I'm going the right way. Alright, and I think in here. Oh. Nope, we found a TM for Dragon Claw, though. Can anyone, anyone actually learn that? Eighty power, hundred percent accurate. Daisy can. Ooh, what's Daisy's other moves? Roll out earthquake, metal claw, strength. I'm gonna be honest, metal claw. Rarely ever helpful. Steel is a great defensive type. It's not a good offensive type. Or like, the times that it is, it's very, very situational. I'm thinking actually we might swap. Metal Claw for Dragon Claw. Because as nice as the occasional attack boost is, like, it's good against what? Rock types? Uh, that's... Uh, I'm sure there's something else, but I legitimately can't think of it off the top of my head. In later games, when they add Fairy type, it's good against that. That's about the only other thing I can think of. Obviously not relevant here, though. I, I'm gonna do it. Would have been very useful in any of our earlier fights with other dragon types, but... Ah, well. Still, very cool to see. Very fun last minute addition to... Daisy's move set. Now... Isn't this where we came from? No. Got a PP up, but our bag is full. I didn't realize it was full. It's a little crazy. I'll just toss this energy powder. Not like we're using it. Anything else down here? Doesn't look like it. Are there any moves I could use that PP up on? Rock slide, maybe. Or Daisy's Earthquake. Eric's Blaze Kick. Barry's Ice Beam. Uh, Ice Beam, Blaze Kick. Second Earthquake. Or Rock Slide. Um, knowing exactly what what's to come, I'm thinking Blaze Kick. As, our, as we're up to our last challenge here. I don't know if it'll actually be relevant or not, but just neat to do. All right, all the way back up we go. All right, so I think I need to go to the other side to make progress when I was jumping down all those little cliffs. I went the wrong way like a fool. Alright, it was down here. Ah, there we go. Anything over here? Another exit. 
Uh, oh, right, we're back to the start, aren't we? So, was that the only thing here? I'd say it seems like it. Okay, apologies for wasting time there. So I guess we go down here then. And we found an Iron Tail, so if we need to teach an Iron move back to Daisy, we've got that at least. Now then, with no idea where to go. There's our final challenge. Well, Ruby, I'm amazed you knew where to find me. Do you, uh, maybe you think of me as just a rock maniac? No, that can't be right. We're battled alongside each other at the top of the space center. You should have a very good idea about how good I am. Okay, Ruby, if you're going to mount a serious challenge, expect the worst. Time for us to bite, to fight, Champion Steven. Well, Pokemon Trainer Steven in this case. He's starting off with a Skarmory Electric, uh, Steel Plane, which I think our best bet against is Electric, that's what I was trying to say. I'm gonna swap to Jesse straight away. Since, ah, oh, I suppose we could have used Flamethrower in hindsight. Oof. He's level 77, I just realized. Good lord. Alright, that's what I get for making my first mistake. Back to Joey, we're gonna use Flamethrower here. Like I should have from the start. Spikes are now around the field. That's oh, gonna be a pain. Barely half. Well, we have a burn, thank goodness. Now we have healing items, so if we need, if we need Jesse later. That's not going to be too bad. There we go. Joey takes out Skarmory. Let's use Agron, Rock, Steel. So actually, Joey is perfect for this with Earthquake. Level 76, my god. Oh, he used his own. That'll be super effective against us without fire. Damn, with the extra levels on us. Wasn't much we could do about that. Alright, let's throw out our own. He's gonna outspeed, but... I can hope he goes for a silly move. Probably won't, though. Nope, oh, there it goes. Eric might outspeed, and Brick Break would do great. So, let's try that. Wait, this might need another attempt, frankly. And down the half. There's the Earthquake, though. That's gonna kill Eric for sure. God, his Agron is a powerhouse. Uh, Barry with Surf should be able to do something. Some good damage here. Like, half our Pokemon do have stuff for this. It's... Oh, okay, you have Thunder. Cool. I was hopeful maybe because Agron's special attack isn't that good. Wow, we are wiping on his second Pokemon. Of course, it doesn't help that he's level 75. Would Steel Wing do more? I think it'd be neutral. Whereas everything else would be not very effective. But of course, he's got Thunder, so. Alright. Good thing I saved right before, I believe. Yes, so this time 
Gonna use Joey properly. For the Skarmory. Alright, second attempt. I'm not too sure if we can do this or not with our current level, but... I might have some grinding ahead of me if I can't do it. I'm hoping with the right strategy we can get, pull through. And have a little bit of luck. Alright, set up spikes of course. Left down to half. Air lace on us. Bit of damage, but not terrible. There we go, Skarm is down. Next up is Agron. Do you have the Quick Claw still? Yes. I'm gonna see if Daisy can get in first with the Quick Claw. Guys, at this point we need a bit of luck to get through this. I don't think it'll kill, mind you, but... If we can... Okay, no Quick Claw. Damn. And the spikes in the gate are sturdy, which sucks. Alright, can Barry get a surf in? He has thunder, but that's 70% accurate, so... I'm hoping he doesn't keep getting lucky. Or he's gonna do solar beam. Alright. If I swap to Eric, I reckon Eric can take a solar beam. And then we can potentially get a brick break off. Don't get me wrong, I still think this will do some damage, even though it's not very effective. But. Oh wow, that's what I thought actually. There we go, we got the brick break off. Yes! Agron's down. That's two down, four to go. Very cool. About to use Metagross. We're actually gonna stay in. I'm gonna try and blaze kick. But it's faster and hit us with the psychic. Damn. Alright, uh I'm gonna try Jesse. And I'm gonna hope he doesn't have any sort of Dark or Ghost moves himself. But with our Shadow Ball. Oh, he has Earthquake. That that could do a number on us too. Does Jesse live that? No, of course not. That's unfortunately fair enough. Um, Joey has Fire, but also Metagross has Earthquake. So we'll see how this goes. Oh, he went for Psychic. Okay. I might still kill, actually. Yeah. Better gross is the powerhouse. I think we wipe again. God damn it. Does Barry live that? No. Not with a crit, for sure. Ah, uh, we still have Ace, but, uh... Until there's something super effective, Ace isn't really able to do much here. Like, our Steel Wing's not going to be very effective. And Eyes Eye should have just gone for Aerial Ace, not that it makes a difference. If Ace lives this, I'll be shocked. Yeah, didn't think so. Attempt number three! I still think it's doable. The right strategy. What I'm thinking is instead of Joey, I'll try Eric being that much faster. I reckon a Blaze Kick would one shot Skarmory. Or at the right list, it might go for a flying move instead. So it might not get the chance to use spikes instead. Okay, so spikes also are doing a bit of a number to us. And I think that's the first thing to try and mitigate. Nope, he went for Toxic on Eric. Also sucky, but that's a bit more manageable. 
Right, we can actually deal with that. Let's get going with about half, but we got the burn as well. Alright, we'll head back to poison. I'm gonna go for another one. Ah, oh, damn it, still got the spikes as well, so. That's not really any better. Alright, next up was Agron. What was that strategy from the floor? Surf, hope we live. Hope we avoid thunder or whatever else it does. And then a brick break should finish it off. Thank goodness it missed. And I think it puts it down to an half. Maybe slightly over. Unfortunately. It lands the second thunder, so Barrow is going down. Sucks, but can't help it. Alright, I'm gonna hope Brick Break is enough to take care of Agron at this stage. We're gonna take a bit of damage from spikes and possibly poison, but Oh yeah, poison either way. Not Oh, this turn too. Alright. But I think we go first. Yes we do. I run being pretty slow. I think that's enough to KO. Yes, it is, thank goodness. Now, Metagross is our pro newest problem child. I'm gonna try a Joey. Joey at, well, nearly full health. Going for a flamethrower. Hopefully, we'll do decent damage. Yeah, because steel's good against rock. Is ground good against steel? I think it was actually. I'm gonna try earthquake. If Joey lives. Joey did not live. All right. Um. Did Eric outspeed Metagross? We're gonna take a fair bit more damage now, so Eric's definitely gonna go down to Metagross one way or another, but. No, it outspeeds us. Okay. Alright. So, no, that's not the answer either. We figured out how to deal with the first two. I just need to figure out how to deal with Metagross. It's just a puzzle that we're slowly unlocking. Alright, I'm gonna go for Earthquake here. He went for his own, though. That's gonna be super effective, isn't it? That, I think, one shots, actually. If we could not, if we could deal with the spikes at the start, Agron would lift that thanks to Sturdy. I think that's the missing piece, is figuring out how to stop spikes from happening at the start. I think, unfortunately, the more I do this, the more I'm feeling like it's going to come down to us, us leveling up enough to deal with all this. Yeah, because I hate to say this, but yeah, we're not nearly a high enough level. I'll give it another try, but I'm not feeling confident that we can do it at this level. I think if our Pokemon were that bit stronger, they could, you know, they could wipe out they could potentially one shot. I'll give it one more shot, but yeah, they could potentially one shot some of the Pokemon, like Skarmory at the start. And at that point, we would be okay. Um, Eric wasn't able to one shot it either. Let me try again with Eric at the front, just because. If it's alright, I might start using speed up since we're on our third attempt, 25 minutes into the video. And I want to see if we can do it by giving it a bit more time to this. So, start with Blaze Kick. Oh, he went for Aerial Ace instead, and one shot. So yeah, Eric is just not a good pick for that first encounter. There's the spikes. I don't think we can do this without Eric, or oh, maybe.
Oh, that sucks. And he has full restores? Oh my goodness. Wow, we didn't even get past Agron that time. Let's try again. I'll give it another five minutes worth of trying, I think. Let's see. He did two aerial aces, knocked out Joey. There's the spikes. So it does have speed, Eric. Damn, it lands the thunder. I think this attempt is just all around uh, a fucked. Wait, actually, I think Thunderball would be neutral. Yeah, it is. Hey, the Quick Claw finally worked. Oh, Maldo? Alright. Alright, we got confused and hit ourselves, so... Couldn't really learn anything about the underground Maldo. So we know four of his Pokemon now. There's the spikes, of course. And an aerial ace, but we take care of Skarmory. So a berry. We use Surf, thank goodness I missed Thunder. Alright, he's got the tiniest bit of help, but we swap to Eric. He takes that, and then it's probably gonna heal up. There we go. Finally, Metagross. Ah, oh, Metagross. If Daisy can get in first, potentially... No. Yeah, it, it's the fact that we get outsped by just about everything. I don't think Metagross is that fast. I think it's just that it's got nearly 30 levels on us. That we're not able to do much. Damn, I was hoping this would be the finale, but... There's not much I can do about it if we can't actually beat it yet. Alright, I think, unfortunately... I thought today was the finale, but... Looks like we got one more to go. Steven had other plans. I'm gonna level these guys up to like... I don't even know, 60, 65. I'll probably just refight the Elite Four in order to get these guys to a decent level. That way I can also raise a fair bit of money and potentially fix up move sets if need be. Like I have the money to buy... I could buy Flamethrower for Eric. That might be a bit better. Do that a little bit extra. But yeah, I'll go ahead and do that a fair bit, and next time on Pokemon Emerald, we're gonna actually beat this goddamn, goddamn Steven. Alright, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.